Hello and welcome to the Chart of the Week video with myself, David Madden. Today's date is Thursday the 10th of May and the time has just gone 12.20 British Summer Time. And this week's Chart of the Week is going to be Royal Bank of Scotland. Uh, taking a look here at, at, the, at the weekly chart to give us a long, long, long perspective, we can see that the share price has been a solid upward trend since July 2016. So we're coming up now on, on nearly two years of a fairly solid uh, upward trend. Uh, in, in February of 2018, uh, the bailed-out bank returned to profit, its first profit since the credit crisis. Uh, and today, uh, Royal Bank of Scotland announced that it's provisionally agreed uh, to, to pay a $4.9 billion fine with the US Department of Justice, the DOJ. Now, a couple of years ago, analysts were talking about a potential $12 billion fine. So the fine today, provisionally announced at $4.9 billion, is considerably lower. Uh, this could also pave the way for the British government to start to unwind its 71% stake in the bailed out bank. So taking a look at the price action on a daily chart, uh, we can see what's been going on over the last year. Once again, in a fairly, fairly decent uh, upward trend. Uh, the share price in January of this year hit its highest level since December 2015, uh, even though we did have a, a sizable um, a sizable correction uh, in the in the first quarter of 2018. It still managed to re retain above the, the September low, so you can still argue that, that, that it, still, um, it still continued to be in the upward trend. As you can see here, uh, in, in recent weeks, the share price pushed higher and we saw a steady increase in positive momentum. We had a bit, a bit of a blip last week, and today the share price actually gapped higher. So gapping to the upside is 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 a is, is, is bullish. Uh, as we can see here on the MACD histogram, the MACD indicator, there's been a steady increase in positive momentum. So the, the positive move in the share price uh, today and yesterday has been confirmed by the increase uh, in the MACD indicator. So the buy, so the momentum is clearly with the buyers. So we've, we've gapped higher here. We're pushing higher here. If you do manage to continue this bullish run, we could be looking at targeting 304, uh, the 2018 high. And like I said, it's a it's a, that's also a level not seen since the end of 2015. Now, if you do manage to drift lower, uh, we may find some, some fresh buyers enter the fold. Now, one of the myths about gaps is that they're always filled. They're not always filled, but they are regularly filled. So it is possible we could see the share price drift um, drift a little lower, uh, possibly down towards 280 or perhaps the, um, the yesterday's high point of 276 before potentially resuming the wider up in tr upper trend that's been in place for nearly two years. Uh, we're still managed to holding above the 200 moving average which comes to play at 270 so while we, re we remain north of 270 it's likely that the outlook is going to remain positive and even if we dip below 270 we may find some support coming to play at this blue line here uh, at 265 the 50 day moving average and notice how it did manage to act as both resistance and as support um, only last month so while while that in while metric has acted as both support and resistance recently it could act uh, it could be significant again in, in the future it's only if you take out the uh, the march low of 253 would then could then we would we, we begin to be worried that we're actually looking to actually extend uh, a downward move and from there we could be looking heading back to down towards 240 well that's all for me this week thank you very much